Welcome to Part of My Imagination. I'm Imagination and you're the Imaginers. Welcome if this is your first time. My name is Jasmine. Welcome back if this is your second or third or how many times you clicked on my channel. Welcome. It's been a while. I know. The last video I put out, I was talking about books that I was supposed to be or wanted to read before the baby came. <laughs> You're not getting updated about that. <laughs> but, okay, so if you can't tell from the title of this video, I'm going to be doing a reading vlog. It's only going to be like a day because, yeah, um, this book is not long, so it shouldn't take me long. This book was kindly sent to me by Macmillan Publishers. I am a content, I, not, I don't want to say influencer, but I get arcs from them. And... They reached out to me when I was in the when I was in the mood of like, oh, I'm about to read. These are all the books I'm about to read before the baby comes. So when they reached out to me, I was like, mm, yes, I'm here for it. And so that's why I said yes to this. Um, because normally, you guys know me, I do not say yes to arcs, especially physical arcs that they want a promotion for. If I know that I'm in a horrible reading slump. So yes. But anyways, uh, I they kindly sent me a benign, a bana me for two this is by trinity um when brain fart um this is supposed to be a delicious romantic about a family food and finding home together hope you guys can see that sorry um and so yeah um this is a cute little v story about a viennese american um i'm just gonna read the back for you in saigon lan or yeah lynn is always trying to be the perfect daughter dependable and willing to care for her widowed mother and their bon me stall her secret passion however is a bon me for two the food blog she started with her father but has stopped dating since he passed vietnamese american vivi has never been to vietnam her parents rarely ever talk about the homeland that clearly haunts them now a college freshman Vivi has secretly chosen Vietnam for her first semester of study abroad program. She's hungry for the truth about her parent, about why her parents left, and for everything she's seen on A Bomb Me for Two, the blog that inspired her to come. When Vivi and Lan faithfully meet, they strike a deal. Lan will guide Vivi through the city, helping her piece together her mother's story through crumbling photographs and old memories. Vivi will help Lan start writing again so she can enter a life changing food blogging contest. They'll help each other achieve their dreams and falling in love wasn't supposed to be part of the plan. So obviously this is a female female romance. Um, well actually I don't want to say female female because I don't want to assume that the I mean I know that she said she for both. But either way this is a female female romance um, with some cooking. And so I actually was going to make the recipe card that was kindly sent to me because this is the promo for it <sighs> um i asked i honestly could have read this but i didn't um so yeah either way they sent me this cute little card and it has a recipe on the back and i know that i could substitute it but i'm not going to i'm just gonna go and get we're gonna go eat some vietnamese food here um there is a large vietnamese and uh i'm thinking why am i blanking filipino um there's a large vietnamese and filipino here locally in north carolina where i'm at if you didn't know i'm in the military so you could piece that together i am stationed at fort liberty um north carolina and so there are uh, is a large community of vietnam uh, or v excuse me, Vietnamese, Filipino. Um, quite honestly, there is a large Asian community period here. Um, and I love it. And they have like a whole strip that comes off of the post and I'm here for it. So I'm going to be reading this today. It's not long. It is only 216 pages, 220 pages. So it honestly should, I should be able to finish this today. Um, while I'm here, I might as well open this other package that I have um yes my friend danielle she is the artist of create a potato she's also the artist that's pretty much made 
almost every logo on my channel. She made my baby announcement. She's been a good friend for years and years and years. Um, and yes, but she makes stickers. She has a membership on Ko-Fi. I'll have her link down in the description. She's always linked in the description. Anyways, so yes, um, she made these cute little like wax, like wrapping papers are so adorable. And I'm sorry the lighting sucked because um, I'm not at my normal setup because we had to move everything around for the baby. Um, and so, yeah, this is, is going to be a cute little vlog. I'm probably going to go and sit. Uh, I'm going to go eat some pho, honestly. That's the first thing. And, yeah. But I need to do some grocery shopping as well. And I need to grab a few other things for the baby. So, I'm going to do that as well. But I'm going to show you guys these cute freaking, like, like, hello. That's adorable, isn't it? There's this sticker. And don't mind my little raggedy nails. Like, I need to take them off. And this is the art print. It says, stay unique. I love this, love this, love this so much. I have a sticker. I just have a membership with her. It's literally $5. So, you guys should check her stuff out. But yes, I'm going to get ready to go because, again, I need to go grocery shopping. I still need to make a grocery list. Excuse me, but I'm probably going to do that while I'm eating and reading this. So let's just get after the day. I'll show you guys my outfit in another clip um, just so y'all can see how huge I am. Oh, my gosh. Okay, but yeah, I'm going to get out of here. So let's go. Okay, this is my outfit. Uh, I have a dress on. I should probably zoom in. Is that better? I look huge as crap. But it is what it is because I am almost 37 weeks pregnant. So, oh, I should probably keep my face in frame. Okay, anyway. okay we're here. I'm about to get some food. Uh, nine times out of ten, I'm not even going to lie to you. I'm probably going to get pho because I always get pho. I mean, yeah. I'm probably going to try, might try something new. But I know... In a lot of just dishes in general, it's not even just Asian, um, like cuisine, but a lot of cuisine uses pork as a lot of their main dishes, and I don't eat pork, and so that was again the biggest issue of me not being able to make the recipe card, which is fine because at the end of the day, I know I can substitute the recipe i'm not going to i'm just going to go to my favorite place and my favorite place is if you can't see it's called it's right there it's called the grilled ginger they're the best well to me personally um not that i get out enough to really know all of the vietnamese uh restaurants in the area but yeah i'm gonna go in here i'm gonna start the book in here um it's just me the girls are with their dad and wesley's at work so Yes, it's gonna be me and this book and some pho, even though it's 81 degrees out. But when you're pregnant and you want what you want, you want what you want, okay? So let's go inside. I'll show you guys the menu and we'll go from there and we'll get some reading done. All right, bye. Okay, I'm gonna try to make this quick because it's hot. As you can see, I went and ate some pho. It was delicious. I got some Thai tea. I probably should not have got Thai tea because I have a headache now. And uh, I have, 
I have gestational diabetes. So my sugar, I can feel my, my glucose levels are high right now. So I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna walk around, hopefully it'll even out my levels. Um, and then I need a test in about like 25 minutes. But I got about 28 pages into this book. Um, it really is just introducing. The first character is the blogger. Um, what's her name? Lan. She owns the the ba. I need to figure out how to say this properly, but ba na me the little food. She's a food. Uh, I'm blanking. My brain is just like shut off right now. It's just because I have a headache. But yes, I'm 20, um, 20 pages. I said 26. I'm 20 pages in. Um, it basically introduces the blogger. She's having writer's block. She, her father has already passed. So that, that event has already happened. It's not a spoiler at all. It's also in the synopsis. Um, and uh, yeah, she's just pretty much having self doubts um about her writing about if people are disciplined in her um it, should she come back to her blog and things like that and then you're following vv instantly when you enter when she's getting introduced she's basically landing at the airport in vietnam um and she pretty much as she said she lied about to her parents about studying abroad she's supposed to be in singapore but obviously she is in vietnam trying to trace her family's roots m mainly her mother's roots and so i'm gonna leave you there because it's burning up in this car so i'm gonna get inside get some clips i need to do some grocery shopping and uh what else look for some baby things so i'll probably get some clips of that just to be all cutesy or whatever and i'm like yeah let's get in here because it's, it's literally hot as hell in this car okay bye okay hey welcome back it's the next day. I don't know if you can tell. Um, I didn't finish it yesterday. I was really busy. And I was supposed to vlog like a ton of stuff. And I didn't. Because I was so irritated. But we're past it. It is what it is. Anyways. Um, the lighting is also crappy. Because it's like 11 o'clock at night. So I'm also trying to talk quietly. Because tomorrow's the first day of school. So the girls are sleeping. Anyways, yes. I finished this book. I gave it four stars. I really enjoyed it. I loved it so much. Um, like I said, you're following two girls. One girl, uh, they're both Vietnamese. Um, one is Vietnamese American and one of them lives in Vietnam. And one writes a blog. She's a blogger, she's a food blogger. Um, and she is having some writer's block, um, kind of just having life struggles. She lost her dad a couple of years ago. Her mom is having some issues and she is just trying to find herself and find where her next step is. Um, and so she takes a hiatus from her blog and then very popular, by the way, like people, tourists come and they visit <clears throat> the city. And then you have the other girl who is Vietnamese American who is trying to find some information about her mother's side of her family. Her mom migrated from, or excuse me, immigrated from uh, Vietnam to California. And her mom does not talk about her family, doesn't talk about her past, doesn't say anything. And her dad also was young when he left, so he didn't live in Vietnam, so he doesn't really have a lot to say either. And so she's just trying to find some history about herself, her family, her mom, and so on and so forth. So she is doing a stud study abroad without telling her parents that she's actually in Vietnam. And she is the obviously the blogger's number one fan. It's also one of the biggest reasons why she wanted to come to Vietnam. And so you're following their story and it's absolutely so beautiful. It's so cute. It's a coming of age. They're both helping each other discover more things about themselves get over some things and all in all just it's a cute story okay i'm here for it i loved it um i really really enjoyed the writing style um i loved how um immersive she made me feel like i felt like i was in vietnam like i could 
smell the food even though I've never had any of these foods before um, I could like smell the food I could envision myself standing in the city and going down the alleyways and there was like one scene where like there there's these paper kites and it just felt like I could see it all in my brain and I love this how descriptive she was when it came to actual Vietnam I love that she used in the Vietnam Vietnam language or v Vietnam Vietnamese language for uh titles um calling people names uh the foods um having just full on sentences in Vietnam in Vietnamese I thought that was amazing I don't know look at Vietnamese but I thought it was cool anyways and also just learning the history of Vietnam learning that there were different uh types of Vietnamese as far as like how there was a part where she talks about um how people um immigrated from China and how there's actually different types of Vietnamese and I thought that was really cool because I didn't know that so all around I feel like this book is definitely opening up like a different light of Vietnam besides especially Americans what we know about Vietnam because most of us really just probably know like the war and that's pretty pretty much it so I love this book I love the setting I love it, everything about it it came out August 20th by the way so I highly recommend you guys picking this book up you will not be disappointed I promise especially if you love food too and sapphic romances excuse me I have horrible heartburn right now so I'm gonna go because it's late at night it's 11 30 at night the girls have their first day of school I have work and so I'm gonna get out of here but that's all that I have for you guys today be sure to check out my description where you can find easy ways to contact me as well as the book that I talked about if you like this video be sure to like comment and subscribe and if not just imagine I did and come back again until next time keep imagining <music>